What is up you guys, my name is Selena and today's going to be a tutorial showing you guys how to do three different distorting epic effects and they can also be used as transitions. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get started. Okay, so let's go to After Effects. So for the first effect, we're going to use this effect called Flow Motion. So we're going to search up Flow Mo in Effects and CC Flow Motion pops up. So if we add it on our clip, nothing happens but if you go to that mount and drag that up you can see that it has this little warp pattern I don't even know how to describe it effect <laughs> but if we go to the knot one we can adjust the position of where the flow mode takes place so so let's just drag that towards the middle so it'd be around 960 by 540 and then now it'll be at the center. So if we bring that amount up, we can kind of play around with this technique. So maybe in the beginning, you could keep the amount at a big number and then go forward and then just bring that amount to zero. So it starts off really warped. But what I think is better is if you do this flow motion effect in a place where the camera is moving because... In the beginning, I'm kind of staying still, but I'm going to move these keyframes to the end and reverse it. So basically, it's starting at zero and then ending with about like 500. So if you watch it back, it's like doing this cool effect because it's moving. And yeah, you can work with that, play around with that. I think it's a cool looking effect. Okay, so now I'm working with a different effect and... We're going to duplicate this by pressing Command D on our keyboard. So now we have two of the same clips. And then in the effects, we're going to search up CC Blobilize. And we're going to add that onto our top clip. Okay, so now let's go to the settings of the Blobilize. So I think it looks cool when it's duplicated because, I don't know, you could just use it to transform a clip from one color grading to another. Okay, so if you bring the color way down, you can see it does this little textured effect. But if you bring it all the way up, it goes kind of back to normal. So yeah, I think it kind of looks cool if you use it on like a duplicated clip. But I'm going to bring in another clip so you can see how it works as a transition. So basically, for this effect, I'm going to make sure that the clip of these two girls walking is going to be first. So I'm going to start the cutaway at 100 and then and then press the keyframe button and then press this keyframe button for softness as well and mine is at 93.2 right now and then you can go forward and then change the cutaway to zero and then change the softness all the way up so that the clip kind of looks normal but you could see the edges a bit which is not a good thing so we're going to go to our clip and press S for scale and then we're going to bring the scale up by like 1% so like 101 and that's a lot better you can't see the corners and edges so yeah you can play around with that effect I think it looks pretty cool so now for the last effect this is an effect that Valdez uses in his videos and I actually made a tutorial on this but now I found this much more simpler way to do this okay so I have my clip right here and I'm just gonna command D to duplicate it and then I'm gonna go to effects and for my top clip I'm gonna search up displacement map and then put that on the clip and then if you adjust the max horizon displacement you can see like a sliding little extract effect and I think it looks pretty cool so I'm going to keep that horizon displacement at zero and then press the keyframe button at the end of the clip or whenever you want it in the clip and then go a little bit forward and just bring that number up to about 84 and then go a little bit more forward and bring that back to zero so now you can watch it back and see this little displacement effect and so yeah that's the three effects so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe for more videos and i'll see you guys in my next video